We woke up next morning to experience sailing through the Bay of Couture, Montenegro. We'd sailed up the Adriatic from Corfu and entered this delightful bay, one of the most indented parts of the Adriatic Sea that has great views on all sides. Because of its narrow parts and its similarity to the fjords of Norway, it's been described as the southernmost fjord in Europe. But geographically, it's actually a ria, that is, a submerged river canyon that is surrounded by overhanging limestone cliffs and hills, making it an impressive landscape. It was indeed a joy to sail through and attracted many of the passengers to come up on deck and enjoy the moment. And what an experience it was, the calm sea, beautiful sunshine and rolling limestone hills and cliffs, occasionally an island, this one Our Lady of the Rock. According to legend, the artificial islet was made over the centuries by local seamen who kept an ancient oath that upon returning from a successful voyage, they would place a rock in the bay. Next to it, St. George's Island and Monastery. The proximity to the shore enabling us to clearly see towns and villages as we sail past. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. We finished breakfast and came up on deck, having been able to enjoy these views from the dining room as we ate. We're all eagerly anticipating our visit to Kotor, as we've been informed that this would be the highlight of the whole cruise. I have to say that as we passed numerous towns and villages, I was impressed by the beauty of the place. Combined with the Mediterranean climate, it must be a great place to live. Two hundred years ago, Lord Byron commented that the Montenegrin coastline really is the most beautiful encounter between land and sea. It hasn't changed much. The joy that we have is that we may stand 10 stories high and look down on it all. A bird's eye view, yes. A fly on the wall, maybe. The occupants of these villages, perhaps unaware that a thousand pairs of eyes are observing. The problem with taking a cruise is that in every port we visit, a minimum of one cruise ship has arrived, if you see what I mean. I want to visit places where there are no tourists, but that's oxymoronic. Let me rephrase. I want to visit places where there's only one tourist. Uh, make that two, then Rachel can come. We soon reached our destination, the ancient city of Kotor, being more built up than other towns we passed. Population, over 13,000. It's one of the best preserved medieval towns in the Adriatic and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Time to explore.
We're literally right next to the city when we disembark. So we strolled up to the city gate. Well, one of them. The name Kotor is said to mean ten gates. So I presume there are others. Our first glimpse fills us with anticipation. And there's more to come. <laughs> 